with update 21.7 landing on console, there isn't really much between the 21.3 that they were on and the 21.7 they are now on, because 21.4 had Hydroid, which console got with 21.3. 21.5 brought the Tenogen Round 9, which has been added to console in this update. 21.6 they already had, because that was basically Hydroid Prime. Then there was 21.7, which was the... The Arca weapons, which, to be fair, they are probably the most fun weapons that have been in, added to the game in, I want to say, a long time. There is old ones that have been fun to use when they've been primed, but they are pretty decent weaponry. And I still have them equipped, which is kind of weird because I've still got all three. Usually I just kind of level it up, form it, use it for a while. And go back to the old weapons that I had equipped. This is probably the first time an update's come out with three weapons at the same time. A primary, a secondary, and a melee. And I haven't just taken at least one of them off. Or all of them. I've actually left these on. The Arca Plasma is kind of like a wave shooting shotgun that... Okay, it doesn't shoot through walls, but it does have an innate punch through against enemies. Which makes it pretty useful. But it's got a limiting range of about 30 meters. The Arca, you still cannot pronounce this, just going to call it the Arca Secondary. That, to me, I know it's not an Opticore Secondary, but it looked like one. Which visually made it a lot of fun to actually use this thing and thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't have to put much work into leveling it up because it's a pistol and came with some pretty decent formers on it. And the Arca Titran, the big hammer, actually has a lot of damage to it. It's not the best when it comes to status and all the rest of it. That's going to change with the Plains of Eidolon focus rework anyway, so it's crit that I was thinking of. It has a nice amount of crit, but the Fragor Prime still has way more, but this does more damage doesn't have more multiplier and attacks slower, so really it kind of balances out to be about the same, but it's the, you can build up stacks and then release them with a ground pound on this thing that made it interesting, and it's that element that, to me, just made it a little bit better than a lot of the other stuff. There is, of course, the Arca armor, which, ignoring the pink thing on Ash, I don't use this Ash, I use the Prime. This armor was kind of weird and had a feature I haven't mentioned before, and that's when you aim down sight, it folds over. No matter what weapon you have, it folds over. Even with a scope, it still folds over. Which, to be fair, is pretty nice looking, but does it work with this? No. Okay, good. I was worried that when you channeled, it would also do it. So it only works when you aim down sight, but it is kind of distracting because it's just there but it is a very weird weird armor to just <laughs> it does look kind of weird and to be honest out of the Tenogen this is I don't want to say one of my favorite rounds but it is definitely got some pretty decent stuff to it it didn't come out of console the same time it came out on PC but it has arrived now this will bring console and PC up to the same point for Possibly a few weeks while they work on Plains of Eidolon. As always, there is a lot of other changes and fixes. A link to the forum post will, of course, be in the description below if you want to go and read through that. Because for console, I say it's long for PC sometimes, but for console, yeah, there's uh, 21.4, 21.5, 21.6, and 21.7 worth of general fixes and then you've got the optimizations for console that list on console is way longer anyway we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time